Well, this is the first example of a kind of tool I've never seen before. It's a cordless power washer. Uh, it takes a battery. Back end here. Um, you want to use a fairly large battery with something like this, but um, essentially this is a, a portable kind of pressure washer, but don't think it's as powerful as a regular pressure washer, gasoline, or even electric, um, because it's not. It's, it's not really meant to take the place of a pressure washer. That's why they call it a power washer. Um, I've used it a little bit, and what I have found it most useful for is the fact that it can draw water. You don't need a hose. You don't need a pressurized water supply for it. So if you've got some fairly light duty cleaning to do, and it's not near a hose, um, then filling a bucket with water and using one of these is, uh, is just the thing. It's kind of like a, a pressure washer in that it has different angles of nozzles. So the, the more concentrated the nozzle, the better uh, power, the more concentrated power you're going to get. Um, I find that though even with the narrowest nozzle, so that's the most concentrated cleaning pressure, um, you're not likely to hurt surfaces too much. I think it probably will end up being the, the nozzle that I use most often. But um, it can be connected to a garden hose if, if you've got that kind of water around. But if not, then it comes with this intake hose, which goes in a bucket of water or any kind of cleaning solution. And it siphons it up and pushes it out at 550 pounds per square inch which is certainly a lot more than uh, regular municipal water pressure, which may be, you know, 50, 60, 70 PSI. But it's a lot less than a pressure washer, which might be two, three, four thousand PSI. So don't make the mistake of thinking this is going to get you out of needing a pressure washer for heavy duty cleaning, because it won't. But it is kind of handy in that it's portable. It also has a soap dispenser, which, um, takes the place of the nozzle. It just clips in there when you want to apply soap to a surface. Uh, this is just kind of your general wetting down nozzle. It's not very powerful. But uh, let's give this a try and I'll show you what it can do and maybe what it can't do so that you can make an informed decision. It's not for everyone. I do know a contractor who washes siding and he uses something like this because he can reach up higher while he's administering soap. And the siding shouldn't really be blasted too hard anyway. It often needs a little bit of scrubbing too. So, but um, yeah, so it takes the same batteries as other Dewalt cordless tools. And oops, just do a little washing here. Uh, well, let's see what it'll do on this bird poo. Well, that's certainly more powerful than a garden hose, and um, I think it should probably remove some of this lichen as well. So let's see what difference the, the soap will make. One thing you should know is that it's not a good idea to use regular dish soap in any kind of a dispensed soap tool like this, and that's because it foams up so very much. The stuff I have in here is especially meant for pressure washers and power washers, so let's see if it makes much of a difference here. Smells nice anyway.
Okay, so there you have it, the DeWalt DCPW550 oh, power cleaner, they call it here, power, or power washer, but as I said, uh, good portable, light duty cleaning. Didn't do a bad job on this like, and I'm sure those boards are going to look quite nice and bright when it dries off, so there you go. Mm -hmm.